Okay, this is the last thing I want to go over with you. Uh, is this little PowerPoint uh, called Color Principles, and then you can uh, open this on your own computer and follow along, check it out. Um, but in this, uh, you know, it's just getting started in the web, using color, thinking about design. Uh, for whatever reason, even if someone's taken um, a 2D design class or an introduction to graphic design, uh, they still tend to uh, gravitate towards kind of like the worst color combinations you could imagine um, when the web is uh, involved. So, you know, it's just something to be conscious of, uh, and maybe you don't, so that would be awesome. Um, but a couple things about color principles. Uh, color opposites would be complementary colors. Uh, it's anything that's like a cross from that color on the color wheel. And it's high contrast uh, and very playful feeling. And it's good for, you know, kids books, comics, you know, sometimes anything that's lighthearted, or even if you want to try to like maximize some impact. Uh, some basic color principles continued uh, would be like an analogous color concept, uh, things that are next to each other on the color wheel. It's less contrast, but calmer, uh, and it's a little easier to look at than a complementary. And you can use white to create contrast in that, or you, know, you can use black. Um, here's a website that you can use to get started to start thinking about color space. Uh, it's the Adobe Color Wheel. It's something that Adobe offers for free. I already have it open here. And you can use this to kind of play around and create any kind of color uh, idea that you want. So this would be like an analogous setup and I can switch it to like a broader analogous or even like a tighter analogous. I can switch to uh, say complementary ones we were just talking about. And then this would give me the color ideas. So if I scroll down here, it tells me the RGB values. Okay, uh, that's kind of a nice one. And then again, if I want to rotate it, like I want to use like these browns with these blues. And here they are right here. Okay, it gives you all of these numbers. So you could input it yourself and I could even like lower the range if I want it like more opaque colors. Uh, it's really fun to play around with and get some super interesting ideas for colors. Keep going. Uh, some examples, sites with good color usage. A nice example of monochromatic colors and white contrast is this net life uh, research. It's a Dutch. So interesting spacing. We're not really ready for that yet. Uh, but nice use of monochromatic uh, and using some black. Okay, cool use of fonts too. Very cool. Beep. Okay. Um, using a single color plus white for contrast. Collision Labs. Okay, so the single color here is this red. And then where does white come in? Down here. Okay, here they flip the color scheme. Then back to it. And a mute it with rainbow colors, the Regents College in London. Okay. Really nice use of a lot of color. Again, using white and black as your contrast. Okay. 
If you use high contrast, like black and white, limit it to smaller sections of text and add additional amounts of space between the lines to make it easier to read. Um, black background with white text is really hard to read if the white text is condensed, okay? Give it lots of space. Uh, in general, try to keep large amounts of text on a very light white light or white background. Use black or near black for the text for the paragraph. Okay, so you can see here this is like a gray. Add color to the sidebars, lines, or other elements. And this will be easier to do as we move into the next levels of CSS. But we can do like little things like this, uh, even as I showed you using uh, the borders. Ways of inputting color on the web using CSS. So as always, the background color is a place where we can add color. Okay, we just kind of went over this, but just to reinforce it. Okay, this is the background color, and here it is with a border. Ways to specify the color. There are four main ways. You can use a predetermined name, color name, so like background color gray, the hexadecimal, which is the default in Dreamweaver, RGB, and HSLA. Here are the color names that you can use. Okay, there's 140 total set names accepted. So you could just write like color black, and it would come up with that. Okay, here's the bunch of defaults. How the computer sees color, it sees color as RGB, and we were using RGB in the end uh, with the A value, to lower the A value and create transparency. <clears throat> One thing to notice that in the R value is close to 255, okay, so 255 is like considered um, light, and zero is considered black, okay, or dark. So if like say red has a higher 255 number and the rest are closer to zero, in your mind you should think like, oh, that probably is gonna be more of a red color. As the intensity of red goes up, the green and blue values go down. So if you slide around this box, you should see like if I'm, you know, right in the corner where pure red is, you should notice that the G and the B are down. So that's red, green, and blue. Okay, specifying RGB color. We were doing this, but we were adding the A value. Here is the A value, the opacity. Okay, so one is the highest. It's completely opaque. And then zero is completely transparent. And there would really be no reason to add zero, uh, but anything less than, or sorry, more than zero would create transparency. Hexadecimal, I don't use these that much. I don't really like them. But this is how they are notated. HSL, again, is hue, saturation, and light. So hue, saturation, and lightness. Again, some people really like this. Again, I don't. Some people here, it says, find this more intuitive to use because once you lock it into a hue, it's easier to make stronger, darker, or lighter. Again, that's up to you. I find the RGBA to be the most intuitive. Okay, so there's some kind of basic ideas to Think about color, it's a lot to think about. Um, if you're stuck thinking of a scheme, I totally suggest using the Adobe Color Wheel and just see what you like, okay? See what kind of speaks to you. All right, 